Father Pat is with us on SSJ at home today. Good morning, Father. Thanks for being here. And um, I'd like to talk a little bit, and, and I know you'd like to address it as well, uh, about your homily yesterday and about uh, the encouragement that you provided for people to, uh, to get involved in small faith communities or uh, to find an accountability partner. I guess what the, what's the difference between those two and, and how do we find one or both? Yeah. So, um, so, so yeah, especially in these, uh, difficult times and these times of storms, you know, as I was saying yesterday, my homily, it's just so important to just have, uh, somebody who can encourage you, uh, you know, in your faith life, uh, hold you accountable for the things, uh, the, the small community, right. Is, uh, is, 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 is a number of people where you can meet, together and, and, and in the community hold each other um, accountable. Um, a small community is a, is a good way to uh, find an accountability partner, um, right? An accountability partner is uh, uh, someone you, you meet with regularly, um, can be either informal or a little more formal, right? There's um, a, a set of questions that, um, uh, that you can go through each time you meet, you know, of just about kind of where where Christ was working in your life uh, over the last week or weeks since the last time you met. Uh, uh, what what actions you 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 took? What uh, what things you did? You know how you see God calling you? What are some of those things you did? Um, you know what you, maybe you studied or what your prayer life was like. Uh, there can be a whole set of things that uh, uh, you can discuss, or you can just simply just talk about your day, right? Talk about uh, your family, talk about your your life and the struggles that you're going through, and just you know be there to remind each other of of how important it is to see Christ in your life, to remind each other to uh, uh, continue to have a good prayer life, and to uh, uh, see Christ's presence in your life. These are more informal, I guess, conversations as opposed to maybe uh, finding a spiritual director. Uh, these are just uh, coffee time conversations you can have with a, a friend, uh, I, I would guess, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they can they can span the gamut there from very informal to to uh, more formal uh, discussions, right? It's 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 what you're comfortable with. Usually they'll start out as just very informal discussions right over a cup of coffee. Um, but as uh, each gets more comfortable with each other, you might want to start trying to put a little more structure, put a little more uh, formality, you know, in the process of, of what you ask and what you do. But that's, that's all really between the, uh, between the two people, right? Yes, and it's, and it's always less informal than a, a spiritual director. But it, uh, but it helps you get on that way, right? It's it's that a lot of the same kind of things where you're, where you're helping each other, uh, just grow in your spirituality, reminding each other of ways to grow in your spirituality. This is um, also uh, typically the sign up season at uh, churches everywhere, as we head into uh, what is nine years out of ten normal sign up times and as school starts back in whatever form uh, people all start also start back and opportunities to build on their faith formation through joining small communities at their par parishes of course St. Simon and Jude's a uh, prime example of that uh, we have a number of small communities that are available for people to, to sign up for yes and hopefully you know here in this uh, daily newsletter uh, we'll have more and more information about it. Uh, we'll have information about how to sign up for uh, small communities, how to, uh, just if you've got interest, we've got uh, groups that are, are restarting back up that have been going, uh, the Watchmen. Uh, we've been uh, studying uh, programs from uh, a group called That Man Is You. Um, the, uh, that was the group I mentioned in my homily, right? There's uh, uh, Mike Table from Watchmen last year has uh, continued to uh, meet via Zoom uh, throughout the summer. Um, various tables have been meeting. We'll be reorganizing those tables, uh, adding new tables, hopefully, 
Um, so uh, for the men, uh, we typically meet at uh, 6, 6.30 on uh, Friday. The, the formal meeting is at 6 o'clock on Friday mornings. There's, but there's a, a, a number of women's uh, groups out there, uh, women's study groups uh, that uh, you can join. Um, we have a, a, a group that does a study with, uh, called Walking with Purpose. Uh, another one that's uh, starting up that's called Blessed Is She. Uh, we have different other study groups, book groups. Um, of course, we have a group of women that uh, meet regularly uh, to pray the rosary at five o'clock uh, each day. Um, we had the, month, uh, the monthly metanoia mission that started last month uh, that's, that's available. So there's, there's lots of opportunities, um, hopefully uh, here in this uh, newsletter over the next few days, over the next weeks, we'll... Uh, you know, have a list of those opportunities. One of our staff members, uh, Rena Villarreal, uh, kind of coordinates um, all of our different small communities. So uh, uh, she's uh, always there to help people try to find a small community that uh, uh, fits them uh, right. Uh, as we start back up our uh, formal fall small community process, right, we'll, uh, we have our uh, our family council, we have family small communities, we have our young professionals, they have their small communities. So we have a, just a wide variety of uh, small communities that you can uh, get involved with, uh, that you can meet with. And over the next uh, few uh, days and perhaps weeks, we hope to uh, do one of these Zoom kind of interviews with uh, representatives of a sampling of those uh, small communities uh, so that folks can learn more about uh, what each of them offer. So uh, we'll, we'll make certain and do that. Father, anything else you'd like to add this morning? No, I just um, encourage everyone to, uh, you know, keep praying, right? Uh, as we face these storms, I know the children are uh, going back to school. I was over at Prasadi this morning and did a mass over there as they start planning to reopen and do some orientations and all. Uh, this week is students will start coming back on campus. So, uh, so keep all of them in your prayers. Um, we continue to support one another and help one another as we go forward amidst all these storms. Thanks, Father. We'll talk to you uh, later this week. All right.